Time now for some sports news. Ayotunde Balogu tells us more. Many thanks, Belinda. We're starting off from Merseyside, where the big news is that Liverpool forward Sadio Mane has now been ruled out for the remainder of the season and will undergo knee surgery. Mane sustained the injury in the 3-1 victory over Merseyside rivals Everton at Anfield on Saturday. Manager Jurgen Klopp has now confirmed the Senegal international will require surgery to repair the damage. Mane has scored some 13 goals since joining Liverpool from Southampton for £34 million last summer. Nigeria's table tennis team is likely to miss the 2017 IWTF Africa Junior Championship built to hold in Sunday in Tunis, Tunisia. This followed the inability of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development to make funds available for the players to travel to the North African country. They are young, talented, passionate and possess admirable zeal to compete for their fatherland. These junior table tennis players have been preparing for the ITTF African Championships in Tunis, but it seems they might just be missing out because of what the Ministry of Sport has called funding issue. I hope we will go because this is not the first time we are witnessing this. Even sometimes, maybe the championship will be starting tomorrow and we will just be taken off today. With just two days left for the tournament to serve off, Nigeria's representatives are still in Lagos. If they don't go to Tunisia, it's a, it's a lot of setback for the Nigerian table tennis junior players because, you know, they will not be able to complete at World Junior Championship this year, later this year in Italy. And then they will not be able to represent Africa at World Cadet Challenge in um, Fiji this year. And then they won't be able to qualify at the Youth Olympics. Sukura Tayela Begon is just 11. If she gets to compete in Tunis and keeps the momentum going, try and imagine what she will become in the next five years. Same with Abayomi Anima Shaun, he's just 13 and already displaying signs of a future champion. At the moment, these players don't know when they'll be boarding that flight to Tunis. It's just passion that is making them believe that a last-minute miracle can still happen. Sadly, this has been the story of table tennis in Nigeria in the last four years. The Federation works hard to discover talents. Players prepare adequately for competitions. But just after that, they start appealing or sometimes even fund themselves to competitions. The Africa Junior Table Tennis Championships will serve off in Tunis on Sunday. And if by Saturday these kids are not out of the country for that tournament, then it adds another negative point to the struggles of table tennis in Nigeria. From the National Training Center in Lagos, Austin Okonakman, Channels Television News. And that's a wrap on sports news. The rest of the news at 10 will be here in a moment. Stay with us. At least three people have died in Sweden after a lorry line rammed into a store in the center of the capital, Stockholm. Several people were injured in the incident on one of the city's major pedestrian streets. Shots were reportedly fired in another city, but it's not clear if the two incidents are related. The Swedish Prime Minister says the country has been attacked and everything indicates that this is an act of terrorism. Let's find out what's hot and not in the world of entertainment with Mayowa Ugundili. Many thanks. Here are your trending entertainment stories. Acclaimed filmmaker Kunle Afolayo presents his new film, Omugo, the first from his much talked about three movies marathon. Cast, crew, movie buffs, and some other friendly colleagues joined him in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, for the first official preview of the movie about the cultural practice of caregiving to new mothers and babies. An apparently impressed crowd throwing a round of applause as the cast took a bow after the movie screening. The movie stars Patience Ozoko and Ayo Adesonya as mothers-in-law for young couple played by Omo Omidada and Ken Eriks, who just had their first baby. The decision of both mothers-in-law to move in to provide Omugo boomeranged into a chaotic but hilarious situation. Oh, I, I, I left my granddaughter. Your granddaughter? Yes, yes. Mommy, 
You lost my baby. Still talking movies, some cast members and crew of the yet to premiere feature film is talking. A story of self-discovery gathered in Lagos, southwest Nigeria to share filming experience. The movie which explores some pains of cultural expectations, racial stereotypes and the bonds that unite families in a touching, dramatic and sometimes funny way. Stars Dakori Akonde as the title character with support acts from Funke Akindele, Lydia Forsen, Patrick Doyle amongst others. The Jade Osibero produced and directed movie is expected to hit the big screen soon. This is Rene. Oh, good evening, ma. Uh, she's married. <laughs> and this is it's okay. Uh, this is my son, Osaze. From the movies to some fashion, organizers of the Lagos Fashion and Design Week, LFDW, roll out the carpet for the inaugural fall winter edition of the show. Led by founder Omoyemi Akerele, the team chooses an exhibition style concept for the show tagged Identity. Traditionally, International Fashion Weeks are staged twice a year, the spring, summer and fall winter editions. And that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. The main news continues shortly. And the main news again. Governor Nasser Arufai of Kaduna State has accused the National Assembly of being a stumbling block to the government's anti-corruption fight. Governor El Rufai made the comments in Kaduna at a retreat for top management staff of the National Assembly. In a swift reaction, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, challenged other arms of government to make public their entitlements. Also today, the federal government gave an assurance that the Abuja airport will be open come April the 19th. The assurance came from no less a person than the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, during an inspection of the runway at the airport. And at least three people have been killed in a suspected terror attack in the Swedish capital, Stockholm, and some arrests have been made. One person has been picked up. And that wraps up the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akimani.